Hi there. In this web design tutorial video for beginners, I'm going to show you how we can add background image to any website. So here you can see I have added this beautiful background image to my website using HTML and CSS. So without further ado, let's start the process. So for that, I'm going to show you my file structure. Here you can see all my files, a background image, index file and style.css file. We need to add this folder to our code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code. Here you can see. Now I'm going to add these files. So here's the folder. I'm dragging and dropping here. Don't save. And here you can see all my files. Index.html. I'm going to open this one first. And after that, I'm going to open this style.css file as well. Now hide this one. And as you can see, I have already added some text here. So we can start right over. I'm going to add my custom CSS file here. I can use inline styles or internal styles for this project, but the best practice is to use an external CSS file. So here it is, here's the external CSS file. I am linking the CSS file here to my HTML head section. Now in body section, Normally we add our background image to our hero section. So I'm going to take the hero section here, section class hero. And here you can see section with a class name of hero. Now inside this, I'm going to take h2 and add this same text. And our HTML is done. Now I'm going to save this page and click on the go live button and here you can see our website and now I'm going to go to the style.css file and select the hero section with a class name of hero and after that I'm going to set the width of our hero section 100% and the height 100 viewport height and after that, we are going to add our background image in here. Background image URL. Inside that, I'm going to write background image.jpg. And now save. And here you can see our background image is added. But you can see our image is smaller size and here it is repeated so many times. To set it to no repeat, we are going to take the background repeat and set it to no repeat and click save and here you can see our repeated image is gone and now we are going to take this image to the center of our section so for that background position to center here you can see it is aligned to the center of our section and now we can also set it to the top center and save it and here you can see it is aligned to the top and center again center and now I'm going to give it a size so that our image will take all the place that it got for that I'm going to add background size and set it to over and save the page and here you can see our background image is added but as you can see we have got a white border around the image it's looking ugly to remove that we need to select the global CSS selector the star selector and set it to box sizing border box and now margin 0 and set the padding to 0 as well and click save and here you can see the border is gone and now to add some design to this text we need to select the h2 inside of the hero section and padding 200 pixel from the top right 0 pixel bottom 0 pixel and 100 pixel from the left and click save And here it is our background image is added as you can see we have successfully added this background image to our web page but now i'm going to show you a simple trick by adding a backdrop color so i'm going to add 
background color light blue and save it you will not see the light blue color right now but if ever our image got broken or image got removed from the folder as example remove the a and save and here you can see the color is added but if we don't edit this color then the web page will look like this we need to add this backdrop color to save our website from this to happen and press save and now i'm going to add image so this was the video thank you for watching hope you found this video helpful and if you got this video helpful please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this one and if you got any questions or suggestion for me please let me know by commenting below thank you for watching have good times